Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. The village of Rukur is uh, about to fight off its uh, occupiers. There is the Great Walkway. Yeah, we gotta go check out the home of Whirlwill. That's what we gotta do. Also, is this the wicker bin I missed before? Huh. Yay! Hey, not bad. Some pretty good loot in there. Um, we found the evidence that a guy was working with slavers. There's this character, Whirlwill. He's, he really idolizes his brother who's gone missing. And his brother's a really bad dude. So let's get that ball rolling quickly. Okay. Yeah, I'm great. There we go. So we don't really have great uh, <laughs> context for this, but anyway, he really looks up to this one guy. Whoops. And he was dealing with slavers. Oh yeah, and then his buddy knew. Yeah, there we go. I found him in War Wars corpse, so he killed him, and this guy was looking up to the wrong person. It should have been his brother. Yeah. There we go. Yep, he didn't want the kid's older brother to be a bad dude and didn't want to shame him. But he was a bad dude, so he killed him. And if I'd gone into the village huts beforehand, we could have reached that point. But now let's just get involved in another legal system. Because, you know, that's fine. To the holder of the laws. Boy, I did not do a great job exploring the first time. Oh well. You know what? We found the star map. That counts for something. We don't want bloodshed. How did you get it? have a trial and then we'll present the evidence to exonerate him he doesn't want world well to know Ooh. yeah wait what No, our goal is to make this place less messed up. I got the data pad! I can believe in you instead. I never understood the rationale of... Again, sorry if this is super discon... Er... I think I was literally going to say discontinuity, and that makes no sense. Uh, disconcerting? Well, sorry if this makes very little sense. Anyway. Nope. I'm here to share it. I, I just don't understand the whole... And it's a common trope of... Uh, these people are believing a lie, but they need to believe something, so make it the lie. They need a hero. Might as well... It's like, I don't know, that doesn't strike me as profound or that interesting or that sane? I don't know. If I had to choose between believing a hard truth and an easy lie, I'd take the hard truth every time, though, so... Just... 
they're trying to set up these conflicts between consequentialist and non-consequentialist morality, but it's in a dumb way. Sweet! You were also affected by it. So I get all of Roy War stuff. <laughs> Yay! Uh, see you later. And 400 bucks. There we go. See, not stabbing someone in the back worked out. Don't even view that as a super light side choice. Again, it's like... I don't consider telling the truth in a legal court... Like, <laughs> yeah, in a legal proceeding to be that good a thing to do. That's just sort of, like not committing perjury but whatever I don't know it would be like getting light side points for not speeding in a school zone it's like yeah well you just kind of shouldn't do that I mean don't get me wrong I do it okay every chance I get but it's also not a bad thing, I guess, is what I'm saying. I don't know. Just says more about how much attention a person a person's paying or how much of a hurry they're in or how careful they are or circumspect, but not really like a big moral statement. And you know what? In that case we just witnessed, if someone went the other way too, there could be a light side motivation. Uh-oh, are you here to kill me? Senny Vak. He's armed. Please take the data pad. Alright, fine. Being needlessly sketchy. Alright. Where are you, new items? Hmm. How did his telling how he killed things? Okay. The Gen Geno Haran, or the Geno Haran says to see Hulas on Manan. Alright. Because we can be an assassin if we want to be. And it's a pretty lucrative side quest to go on. And I have turned around. And I don't want to be going this way. Alright, complete 180. The game has a tendency to turn you around during cutscenes a lot. It's most unfortunate. Also, how is this guy able to land? There's kind of a... Uh, stuff going on. We'll, we'll get to that. Hey! Alright, of course I looted these. So... If we turned around with the droid recording or whatever... Uh, here it is. You'll note the the one quest line about Eli getting betrayed and all that. If we turned around as soon as we found it, come all the way back up and show the item, we could have, you know, helped that guy who was an indentured slave, basically. Um, but, you know... Now this is happening, so I try not to think about <laughs> what that poor kid had to go through. Now everyone's just getting killed. So I guess Eli probably got what was coming to him. I don't know why the Wookiees would fight at range in this situation. Also, really good rewards considering how weak these guys were. 
That was an easy 450 experience points. Later on, we'll have to, like, kill baby Rancors to get that much money. All right, but you gotta leave forever. All right, peace out. I think if you play your cards right, you can get permabanned from a lot of worlds. Uh, time to leave. Hey, Bastila. Nope. Then I suggest. Nothing to talk about, yes, Karth. Do you want to tell me about? All right. I um, uh, I'm not very good at this. I I know I owe you an apology. Several. I was just so desperate to finally face Saul directly in the Battle of the Terrace, and now the Jedi have us looking for these these star maps. I know this mission is important. It's just I, I feel a bit useless. I, I, mean, I can fight, sure, but I'm no Jedi. All this feels completely out of my league. Eh. Well, I, I'm just not that angry about him. I was like, oh, no, you're pitching in. You don't exactly pull any punches, do you? Uh, not that I don't deserve it, I suppose. I just hate not knowing what's going on and feeling this... helpless. I mean, I, but I shouldn't have taken that out on you. I've been a royal pain in the backside. Haven't this I? is a high-maintenance relationship. Eh, don't worry about it. No, I do worry about it. No, I've don't. The lanes more than once. I should know better than this. So, I'm sorry. Will you accept my apology? I'll accept money. Done. Let's get underway then, shall we, partner? <laughs> Yay! Did we finally sort things out with Karth? Ah. All right. Um. I think we don't really need to go back. We can go check in at Yavin and see if there's any interesting new equipment. But I don't think we need to go back to Dantooine or anything, so to Tatooine. Alright, nightmarish visions of a star map in a cave. Or lair of some sort. And now we can talk about it. Tatooine is known for little but blowing sand. I find it surprising that there would be a star map somewhere in its desolate wastes. Well, it's important to the Star Wars universe, so... The star map would likely have to be within some kind of shelter to protect it against dust and sandstorms. Or it could just be totally there buried. Are many such caves and caverns hidden in the sands of the Dune Sea. The creatures of this world probably use them as their lairs. No doubt things will become more clear once we discover the star map's location. Yeah, yeah, sure. All right. Onward. And let's just get on with it, I think. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna keep... No, Karth... Yeah, we'll bring Karth because we haven't triggered his cutscene yet, and we'll do... We'll do Bastila as well, because I think we're pretty close on her. Welcome to Anchorhead, potential customer. <laughs> Great! Zirka Corporation stands ready to serve. After some formalities, of course. Oh. First, your ship is not on our list of planned arrivals for today. There is a docking fee of 100 credits because of this. Uh, yeah, what do I get? The immediate benefit is access to these very docking facilities. This is the only port in Anchorhead. You're and shaking me down. Pay, we will offer trade services as well. We're not unreasonable, we just want to cover expenses. You know, if they actually... See, I don't know why I can't just try talking my way out of it, but, uh, yeah. You know, I don't think you need to pay the fee. We'll let it go this time. Don't chastise me. cover any future landings as well. It's like a registration. So we can serve you better when you return. All right, now, don't tell Malik about the registration. Can provide information on services. Is this visit business or pleasure? Have a nice day. As you <laughs> wish. If you need anything else, I'll be here. Perfect. What can I do? And there we go. I like that you can almost hear the Star Wars theme there. Force immunity paralysis. Ugh, I'm not gonna lie. 
That's really nice to have. I'm missing my Sentinel days. Um, minus four to defense. So, I mean, you're giving up accuracy, but I think we're going to focus on getting her lots of uh, attacks. I'm pretty sure Flurry is the best ability, but whatever. Plus 8 to damage, plus 10 to damage. Minus 3 to hit. Just out of curiosity, what sniper put us at? This might actually be quite good. The only problem is... You're always lowering your defense when you use the master, or like the sniper or the critical strike. Yeah, okay. More hit points for Karth. I'm here. Sure. And normally you get like someone walking up to you. Oh, great. A Gizka. There we go. And they breed like crazy. Alright. So now our ship is overrun with Gizka. Well, we'll get there, though. First, looting! Alright. I mean, getting those computer spikes, it'll gradually add up. Uh, particularly when someday we, uh... You know, get the chance to get a ton of experience points and have someone with a really high computer or repair skill actually barely burn through any? I don't know, the day might be coming. Alright. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Alright, well, what are you selling? Usanus's brand. Which is actually quite powerful. And upgradable. Oh man, we might have to go for some of this stuff. Carbine that's 4 to 14 and upgradable. I just don't know if any of it's better than stuff that we can buy at Yavin. Oh yeah, some level oh, 2 implants. Okay, so we have Gizka on our ship. There is a way to spend 350 credits and, you know, poison them all and get rid of them that way. Or you can, um, if you play your cards right, find a certain someone and profit from it. I'm just going to run back here. Because I have a theory we might get a conversation. If I, I don't know. Just hear me out. Oh yeah, there's the Gizka that have overrun the ship. If you want to get dark side points, you can just try killing all of them. Well. Well, see you later. I gave it attention. Okay. Try Karth, and if I walk this way... Wait, I saw a pouch. There we go. Yeah, perfect. Not sure, that seemed a lot like robbing, but anyway. I was sure someone would walk up to me, because I was really close to the end of Karth and Bastila's little personal quests there. Alright, well, we have one other thing that we know for sure. And that is a uh, mission. It's pretty close on hers as well, because we know... We know Griff is here on Tatooine. Huh? So now we'll actually proceed here in a minute. 
Uh, it's super tempting to go with constitution on her just because she's so fragile. Yeah, super hard to hit though. I'm here. Defense 31 is yes. no joke, but she's just as fragile as Joe Lee was. Hello, Sharina. Please, will you help me? I have nothing. Nothing left. Rut row. <laughs> I like how we introduce our name. Alright. Not to take up too much of your time. I realize that everyone is out for themselves on Tatooine. My yeah. husband was a hunter, killed out on the dunes. This raid plate is all I have left. Please, will you buy it? Oh yeah, you can do something really evil I just here. Can't sell it to Faza without a license. Please, I'm worried about having it. They're so rare. Uh, yeah, I, I don't have a license, I don't think. But you looked... Uh, I'm sorry, I, I thought you looked equipped like a hunter. Are you sure you're not going to be getting a license? I mean, you don't look like a farmer, and the only way to be allowed out of Anchorhead is to get a hunting license. Alright, fine. Zerka Corporation sells them out of their office just south of here in the center of Anchorhead. That's where my husband got his. They do a lot of charging people just to open doors they set up. They've been known to make exceptions. Please, no one else will help. Ah, okay, what's the deal with it? I can't sell it myself. They are worth more than 500 credits. Yeah, sure. Yeah, so if you just take it from her, it like traps her on Dent or Tatooine and she has like a child and then you can it's like a really indirect way and much more personal way of robbing them. Yeah, this is a simple transaction. Oh, thank you so much. Please, I know it's worth at least 500 credits. Yeah, you say that. Uh no, I mean oh. Yeah, thank we'll give her 500. You. I hope it is enough. You've been a great help. I appreciate it. My children will too. Wow. Sometimes helping people feels pretty good, you know? Thank you for helping this woman. It may not seem like such a great thing to you, but you're making a difference. Man, last what time I helped people, things? the planet got destroyed, so... be with you. You saved us. Alright, and now we have a valuable raid plate, which we can sell for about 500 credits. If we just go through this door... Uh, but we need a license first, I guess. Hmm. Huh. Perhaps I can rob this person. Zerk office seems promising. Wait, what? Yeah, what is this? Well, I believe I've heard recently that Monopoly con constitutes competition. Support net neutrality, folks. All right. Can I help you? These are the offices of the Zerka Corporation. I trust you have business with... If this is about employment, I'm afraid all regular mining positions are full. And oh before no. you ask, we are also no longer selling hunting licenses. I need one of those. Oh, actually, let's start here. Griff? Uh, there's no Griff here. Never heard of him. No, I, I don't remember a single Griff on the Zerka Corporation payroll. Mm-hmm. Oh, you mean that Twi'lek. Must have slipped my mind for a second. Yes, of course I remember Griff. We hired okay. that Twi'lek some time ago. Not a good worker, according to his crew chief. Always complaining and faking injuries to get out of work. Eh, false mining's hard. Slept through his shifts. We even suspected him of stealing Zerka Corporation supplies, although we could never prove it. Good old Griff. We would have fired him, but we needed workers. Dang. It would have been better for him if he had been fired. Then the sand people wouldn't have gotten him. Oh, <laughs> he's dead. He was lost in a Sand People raid we suffered not too long ago. There were prisoners taken, but our rescue parties never found anyone alive. In the end, it just wasn't cost-effective to keep searching. All miners signed That's away fair. for absolving... Thank Zerka you for being honest about it. In these circumstances. 
We didn't find his body, so we have to assume he was taken prisoner. Whether he's still alive, I couldn't say. That's all, all right. I can tell you. I shouldn't even have said this much. This is all privileged corporate information. I could lose my job. Sounds like you need to give me money now. Very well. I think well, I, I know the answer to the first that. question. As I said, we are no longer selling them. There are too many people cavorting about outside the walls as it is. Can I steal one? Well, normally we charge 200 credits, but I could make an exception if you agreed to perform a task for us. It's similar to hunting. The sand people are becoming a problem. Sounds like it. Yeah, yeah okay, I knew where this was going. Miners. One particular tribe is the worst. It's as if their chieftain has decided to wage war against us. I would like their attacks terminated. Bring me their gaffy sticks as proof. If you agree to do this, I'll give you a hunting license now and pay a bounty for each stick later. I'll give a bonus for the chieftains. Dang. Uh, okay. Excellent. Now, just so we understand each other, this is an enforceable contract. Zerka Corporation takes this very seriously. Well, Here's I don't. In a few directions. We believe one of their enclaves is in the far south of the Dune Sea. You might try following one of our So, followers. go into the desert like and head south. I wouldn't mind you escorting them. Very good. Zerka Corporation looks forward to your future business. Well, good job mouthpiecing for them. Okay, let's talk to Bastila. It's probably really important. How can I help? I do. I've been watching you, studying you closely to see what kind of progress you've made since your training at the hands of Master Zahn. Who you may recall is the only useful member of the Council. I've seen how you've resisted many temptations and continue to walk the path of the light side. By my but measure, I've done one but good thing. You stray from this path, you need to see what the dark side represents in its entirety. For it is what we battle. Only the wisdom of a Jedi Master can truly explain this. But I will do my best to make you understand. Okay, here we go. The dark side is not simply giving in to anger, temptation, or to use the force to destructive ends. These things only lead to the dark side. The dark side grows stronger and more insidious the closer you draw to it. It begs How do you, you to know that? It, to release all its terrible power, and it becomes harder and harder to resist. And once you stop resisting, it's too late. It twists you up inside and turns you into a mockery of everything you once stood for. Uh, like Malik? I don't know. I am no less resistant to temptation than any other. I mm. the benefit of training. I read between those lines. Even the training of the Jedi might not be enough to save us. We need only to well, because you guys are secretly focusing on it. Way to understand the terrible, corrupting evil of the dark side. Millions dead and far more suffering. What sort of person would you have to become to perform such deeds gladly? Yeah, we do a lot of killing. The light does not strike down an innocent. We take arms against the dark side and the injustice that follows it only. It's so easy to think that we would never fall prey to such a horror, that we have unlimited control, vigilance, and foresight. If only that were true. The Sith have become powerful because there are many Jedi who've succumbed to the lure of the dark side and joined their cause. Which what is why I question your philosophy towards it. To your cause, to use their own knowledge against them. We are weakened while they are strengthened, so we must harden our hearts and do whatever is required to fight against the dark side, even when the battle becomes wearying. Yeah. Okay? I don't know. The vision of our future is clouded by shadows cast from the dark side. But I sense something ominous lurking in those shadows. But like Malak? Save one from the dark side. Come. We should continue with the task at hand. When the time comes, I only hope we are all strong enough to do what we must. All right, well. Okay. The storehouse? What do you got? Oh, wait. Zabrak battle armor, which is light. Hmm. Kind of expensive. We're well acquainted with the channel battle Ichani battle armor. There we go. Powered battle armor. Strength plus one, but this is not upgradable, unlike the stuff we have. Still, for the price, not bad. Also, a 5 to 13 pistol is no joke. My goodness. I'm tempted to buy this. 
Yeah, and upgradable armor. I'll just grab the upgrade for now. Um, this is pretty good. And it's balanced, so Karth would love it. Yeah, I'm buying it. I don't think I've ever purchased it before, but uh, yeah, I mean, where are we here? Not too shabby for a one-handed, nicely evenly weighted yes. long-range weapon. Yes. I'll take it. And then get stuck on people. All right, we've got a hunting license. Let's go sell that raid plate and be done with it. Which basically is the plot of the movie The Raid as well. Oh, okay. There's always a peaceful solution to conflict. False. But there is often one. I would even go as far as to say almost always. Okay. Okay. Well, those don't always end well either. Oh, sure. The Jedi go on. I have no memory of this. I mean, it might have been Revenant Malik, but he only mentioned one. An unusual droid shop. Go on. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, until, yeah, one or the other. Alright, I like that he was a little cranky, but, you know, committed to something. He actually gave a crap. Which, after that conversation with that Zerka girl, I mean... Man, she, uh... <laughs> she was just a mouthpiece for a job. Hmm. What if these guys are gonna try to kill me? There's a lot of named people in here. Comad Fortuna? Uh, okay. Okay, that's actually really helpful. Alright, so the real secret is the Fremen. I mean the Sand People. That was really helpful. Uh, Get lost, Tenderfoot. I hunt desert raid. Okay. Hoping to goad me into talking a bit? Alright. I can't believe that worked. Good hunting. No, I think I got some pretty useful information. I just want to sell stuff. Okay. I just came from Kashik, so it's not bad in that regard. Alright, 
Oh, I kind of thought I'd be able to persuade you. Oh, he's pumped. Uh, yeah. Man, lots of stuff we're coming across. Another carbine. Those are actually kind of lame. I'll take the scope. And I think all the rest of them are just hunters. And I don't really know if... Kudos. I don't have that much to say. Onward! But we'll wrap this up. Well, actually, we'll kind of continue unwrapping it next time. Thanks for watching, folks. See you there.